was the night before Vlogmas and Cece's done shopping. Not a creature was stirring, not even Mark grouching. Went out from nowhere, we heard a big clatter. So we ran downstairs to see what was the matter. When we got down there, what do we see? Four little kids up under our tree. We fussed and we yelled and hollered and screamed. Santa's wow. taking all this stuff back if this room don't get clean. They looked up at us as if it would give this mess a fix. Couldn't, Couldn't even, even be mad. mad. Welcome, Welcome to, to Bradley's Bradley Party, Party of Six. six. What's up y'all? Happy Saturday or whatever day you guys are watching this. Welcome back to another vlog. If it's your first time watching us, just make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel as well as hit that notification bell, follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff. Hit that bell button if you wanna subscribe to more of our channel. Girl. And videos. So we're just riding through, <laughs> riding down our street like more and more people are moving in. You guys know we were only the second house in this development. If you've been watching, then you know that. So now there's about 10 people that have moved in. Like the neighborhood is coming up quickly, like super quickly. So um, anyway, we are actually headed. It's about five o'clock almost. And we are actually headed to drop MJ off at my mother-in-law's house. She wanted to keep him for the night. She kept Mari last night. And so um, she's going to keep Mari and MJ tonight. The girls have been gone for like the last three weekends in a row. So they are actually staying home tonight. It's going to be kind of like old times, like me, Mark, and the girls. Like, obviously, <laughs> it hasn't been like that in six months. And so um, it's going to be kind of like old times here. So that's what's going to happen tonight. I don't know what we're going to do. We're probably going to hang out in our basement. We showed you guys in our last vlog that our basement is coming together. Like it's like a little man cave heaven down there. And I there's mean, pool table. we have the pool table set up. We what's have the, the um, NBA jams, arcade game. Like we got all the stuff what's down there. So yeah, we got like all the stuff down there. Mark is like in heaven. We got our hookah set up and all of that. But um, yeah, we're about to drop MJ off and then uh, me and the girls are gonna go get something to eat. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where I wanna go, kinda looking like this, but. I don't go with you. I don't know. I don't know where we're going yet. So I really haven't eaten anything all day. I had like a protein packer and um, some coffee and like a 10 calorie, that cranberry juice I've been showing you guys for the last few weeks, one of those. So I've, I've barely eaten. Talk to your off enough. So, um, just come on, hang out with us for the night. So it's a few hours later. We're sitting outside of the store while Mark runs in and we're about to head to the restaurant. Yep. Um, we're about to head to finally about to head to grab something to eat because we are starving. No, I know I'm hungry. Now you just bought a bottle of wine. Yes, I did. Why do you need another wine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mind your business. Mind your own business. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're about to head to the restaurant. I think we're going to go to Olive Garden. And instead of Red Robin. Hit that bell button and hit that red button for more of the videos that we film. Oh like family film. <laughs> she be thirsty. <laughs> on camera. It ain't even been that long of a day because I, I, I at least got a nap today. But it's just, I don't know why. I feel like when you have kids, the days just feel long. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Felt long for me too, and I wasn't even kids. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just had a long night with you and Quise, and I had to go to work for ten hours. So yeah, we was up pretty late last night. Somebody wanted to watch the In the Den of Thieves. That took twenty minutes. But whatever, and then we had to talk about it. We didn't really have to talk about it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh. And it was already late when we started. <sighs> Let's get to the restaurant. And I think he can It's like old times. The four of us. It was literally this way for so long, y'all. And now it's like automatically six of us. It's crazy. <laughs> You hungry? Yeah. This lady 
chicken thing. Hey everybody, Mr. Bradley checking in. Haven't seen you guys all day. I'm sure you've seen the wife and the children today, but the evening is almost over. Me and the wife back at it again. Playing a little pool, Table. watching Burning Sands. Did y'all see that movie? That movie had a lot of people talking. A lot of people talking. This was all that stuff. I think it was like three kids that died while they was crossing to like the year this movie came out, it came on a lot of scrutiny. It was like a lot of fraternities who were saying like, that stuff don't happen, a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, come on Morgan. Okay. I'm getting ready to put the kids down. Um, and then me and the wife gonna hang out again tonight. What's up everybody? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, November 22nd. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's not a beautiful day. It's actually very ugly outside. So if you look out this window here, raining very muddy very wet so not a not a very beautiful day at all uh, that's what our backyard looks like it's actually very atrocious uh anyway uh cc is out at church she um live stream our church service like i told you guys that before so she is out she is also out grabbing the boys as i told you the other night um Quis and mari spent the night at their nana's house it was an old school just us and the girls week end um saturday i should say pretty cool uh but as you guys know it's sunday so you already know what that means cleveland browns football oh my god that's more good so oh, and speaking of the boys they just walked in the house Persian house so mari is walking up the stairs i mean cc is right there. There she is. And there goes my son, who I haven't seen in 24 hours. Say hey, Jojo. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> you have fun at Nana's house? I'll be right back. What's up, y'all? So, I am actually headed out to Chipotle. And wasn't against me, but anyway, what you doing tonight? I'll probably be with my peeps. If it's cool, two maybe we'll swing us. All right, I had to take a little, a little jam session break real quick. I love that song, y'all. I've loved that song forever, like since it came out many, many years ago. But anyway, what's up, y'all? I don't think I talked to y'all today. So, um, the girls headed to Chipotle because, first of all, I can't get Chipotle deliveries because they don't have our address registered in Google Maps, which is so annoying. Um, so, there's a lot of things like we can't really get food delivered from like DoorDash or Uber Eats or anything. So, I have to go pick it up. So, I'm headed to pick up my Chipotle order and then I'm going to go back home. Um, today's been like a super chill day. I went to church to, like I do every Sunday, to do the, um, the Facebook Live for our church service. And now, um, I'm just trying to get things settled out for the week. So, this week starts zoom classes for the girls every day um starting tomorrow so when i get home i want to well, i want to do some laundry i also want to film a video but i also want to do some planning out for the week making sure they have like their permanent workspaces i want this transition to be seamless for them as well because i mean it's going to be a lot it's, it's going to be a lot going fully remote like this with little kids like it's just not ideal and i realize a lot of us are in this situation but obviously this is my first time being in this situation where well you know we did it last year but this year i don't know it's my first time being in this situation with two kids and well three technically but you know mari's been doing it for the whole school year so far so um i just want to make sure my mind is right for tomorrow because i am also a uh full-time employee for someone so i also want to make sure my mind is right and we're just on a schedule you know like i have to figure out what time their lunch is so i know what time i have to be free to make sure they have food you know so that's kind of where my head is today just kind of planning out things for the week i've also been thinking a lot about 2021 and just like 
2021 will be here before you know it and i realized 2020 didn't go like any of us thought it would go okay but i still want to be prepared for 2021 and so i've been really like brainstorming my goals and what i really want to accomplish in 2021 and i feel like like 2020 was just so unexpected i mean it just started off as a shit show and that shit continued you know so i feel like i am more mentally prepared for 2021 to be a shit show and more mentally prepared to reach my goals knowing that 2021 could be just as much of a shit show as 2020 so that's kind of i feel like 2020 just kind of smacked everyone in the face but 2021 we know how shitty of a year we can possibly have so um I'm like, it can't get much worse, you know? It can't really get much worse than, than this year. So to be able to have that in mind while I'm thinking of my goals, but still giving me some really nice stretch goals. Like, I don't wanna just be like, oh, well, 2021 is probably gonna be a shit show too, so I'm gonna make some easy goals. No, I want goals that I'm gonna have to work toward and still like hustle my ass off to make. And um that's what i encourage you to do too don't just give up on your goals because this year wasn't as we planned we're all going through this together uh no matter your situation you know everyone across the globe has been infected by affected by what's been going on and so you know we're all doing our best but i still want you guys to push yourselves i'm gonna push myself i'm gonna make my kids push themselves i'm gonna make my husband push himself and i want you guys to push yourselves as well and still like have a badass year you know what i'm saying so that's what i've been kind of thinking about and working towards and mark and i are definitely going to do a um a 2021 goals video during vlogmas so uh yeah very excited about that and to share those with you guys but uh let me pop in this chipotle real quick and get my stuff why don't I tell me totally ran into chipotle and forgot my mask y'all <laughs> i'm like still not used to wearing a mask i don't know how because we've been doing it for months now but i definitely just walked in there and i saw the workers and i'm like I'm so sorry I totally forgot my mask and he's like it's cool it's cool you're just picking a grab and go right and I'm like yeah he's like just grab it and go I'm like thank you I'm so sorry before this whole mask order I wasn't the biggest mask wear however I don't want to make anyone else feel uncomfortable like I understand we're supposed to be wearing our masks that's what they say so what no matter what I believe I realize that this is a scary time for all of us and that people are you know th the CDC says we need to be wearing masks so a lot of people we all take that to heart and we're wearing our masks but I'm not one of those people who are like I don't feel like we need to wear masks and it's stupid and I'm just gonna make everyone else feel uncomfortable because I don't want to wear a face covering I feel like that's just ridiculous and selfish you know what I'm saying so I still like like I still go into places and forget to bring my mask and I'm like so apologetic and feel so bad because I know there are some people who are legitimately scared there are some people who um you know have pre-existing conditions or respiratory issues that this um coronavirus could affect them in a way that it may not affect me you know what I'm saying so um just be mindful of other people I guess I say all that to say you know we're in the holidays now and just try to be a little nicer be mindful of other people because just because you don't believe something like there are a lot of people who for legitimate reasons are very very afraid of contact or contracting coronavirus and so um I just want to say that because I was kind of a like I said I, I go in and I'm like so apologetic like I'm so sorry I don't want to not to mention we could all be asymptomatic and not know it so I'm not trying to infect anyone <laughs> with something I don't know I have so that's just I guess that's my little rant for the day all right so I'm gonna get home do my planning my Sunday planning we oh my gosh y'all Mark and I slept in we were up until 4 a.m. last night playing pool in the basement I mean we were up so late just talking and laughing and playing pool I love that we have that basement now that we can kind of have our own little date nights at home so we were up so late and we slept in the baby wasn't there as you guys know we slept in until 10 o'clock and I could have slept longer but I had to get up and get showered so I can get to church we slept in so late this morning and so I didn't get to do my normal Sunday morning routine like do all my planning and stuff for the week 
so I need to do it this afternoon and also do some cleaning up and stuff and cook dinner um, later on but yeah we were up so late and we had such a good time last night it's so nice just to be able to hang out and not feel like we're missing out because I, I just feel like I'm missing going places on our dates and not that we can't go places we're not under lockdown anymore well I mean, I don't know. The cases are really rising, so I bet that's coming soon. But it just feels different now, you know? It doesn't feel the same like it did before um, going out on our date nights. But um, I, I'm just glad that we're able to kind of create that magic at home and still have fun. Y'all look a hot mess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just glad we're kind of able to create that at home because... I don't know we have so much fun going out with each other and so to not be able to do that is kind of hard for us because we, we love spending time together so it's really hard for us but anyway I've like been rambling talking your ear off so I'll catch you guys in a little bit it's dinner time y'all so I'm getting ready to make some dinner so I thought I would bring you guys along with me I turned on the wrong light I need the kitchen light on thought I'd bring you guys along with me for dinner so you can see what I'm making and how I make it we used to get you guys know we used to get like the box meals so we used to get like hello fresh and every plate and all that well i don't get them anymore because now um i don't know it's just easier for me to buy the girls are eating real food now we finally got them trying some food mari is eating full meals obviously like an adult so um it just doesn't make sense to get them at this point so I might start back up soon, but I don't know. But right now I'm just been buying groceries and I've been using the actual menus that came in the HelloFresh meal, both meals, because I kept a lot of them. So it helps keeps our meals fresh. And this is a really easy one. It's a family favorite. This is the crispy maple mustard chicken. And so basically it is a chicken breast and it has like a maple Dijon mustard sauce on top. I'm going to make some potatoes and then I have some lettuce here that's about to go bad. So we're going to make some salads and that's going to be that. So if you guys want to just sit back and watch me cook it, hopefully I will try to remember to put the recipe like on the screen as I'm making it. And that way you guys can follow along if you want to make it yourself. Um, maybe I'll also try to put it down below um, in the description box as well. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to show you guys the recipe right now. And then you can take it with you. Hold on. It's all down. 